Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix and welcome to the Giant Robot News for August 29th, 2022. Just a heads up, for the next couple of days I am stuck up in my bedroom. We are having some major work done in the basement and I can't really use my normal setup, so I will make do as best as possible. Thank you for understanding. Alright, enough of my prattling, let's get into it. First up today, we now know all the mainline leader class releases for the Legacy line of 2023. Most of the stuff is still in production or in the planning stages, but the figures are Armada Megatron, Prime Skyquake, and Prime Dreadwing. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm really excited to see what that Armada Megatron is. And those Skyquake and Dreadwing, those are going to be interesting. I hope they come with giant cannons. That would be very nice. Next up from TFW 2005 board member Cube Dude, he has shared a picture of Classics Heroes Team, aka Rescue Bots, Crocodile Megatron. Now this is the second Megatron that was followed by a Drill Tank Megatron that I'm pulling up a picture of now. Yeah, I, I had no idea that the Play School line had a Drill Tank Megatron to begin with. But yeah, we get a little Crocodile Megatron, and it's adorable! Oh my god! It's so cute! And it has exactly the same amount of transformation as the original Beast Wars figure. Next up, we've got Transformers Budsworthy Bumblebee Cyberverse One-Step Changers Wave 2 images. So, uh, these are just the packaging. We've got Prime in his Cybertronian truck mode. We've got Megatron in his... Uh, this is weird. It, it doesn't really make me think of Megatron from Cyberverse. It makes me think of Megatron from the from the games from Fall of Cybertron and a double cannon double cannons that that's got some tarn vibes to it and then finally Skybite and my favorite bit of news from today is we've got via TM Reviews Facebook the first color renders of X Transbots MX39 Origo aka Orion Pax now X Transbots has had a ton a ton of render reveals over the past few months, but none of these figures have shipped yet, so we don't know when these are going to ship. I think this figure looks great. It's obviously, or obviously to me, it looks like a redo of Cup, but I think I think the robot mode looks really solid, and then the alt mode looks good. I mean, that's Cup. I mean, come on. But then it comes with a trailer. Which is really cool, because that trailer reminds me of the evil Decepticons, or the, like, I guess the grunts that were the Decepticons in the original show when when Prime went, or I'm sorry, when Superion, or aka the Aerialbots, went back in time. It works really well, and it, it looks more like a homage to Rodimus Prime than to Orion Pax. And it comes with its own bay. I, I think that's really solid. I'm super tempted to pick this one up. I just love I just love the trailer. It's so dumb, it, it, but it works. It really works for me. Now, while we didn't see Orion Pax's alt mode in the cartoon, this figure from X Transbots is based on the Cybertronian truck that Orion Pax is supposed to transform into, based on Orion's original concept art. So that explains why it looks the way it does. And the trailer can re transform into a repair bay. For some reason, I thought it was like a battle platform. And continuing with the X Transbots Origo, here's the look at the actual figure. I, I like it. I do. I want to know when more of these X Transbots announcements are coming. I assume this figure is going to be released in 2023. I, I don't know for sure, but I. I still think it looks good. I like the look of it. And it makes me wonder if they're going to be making a Rodimus Prime figure in the future. Huh. I wonder. And lastly today, Hasbro has announced at Power Morphicon 2022, Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Yep, that's right. Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. It's apparently in productions now. It's going to be again in 2023. No other news other than the fact that the Dino Fury Rangers will be returning. And this makes the first proper cast carryover since the Mighty Morphin era. 
That's interesting. No idea what it's going to be. There's a lot of theory that it could be from Kira Major or that it could be from Kyo Ryuger. We don't know yet. I don't know if it's going to be its own original adaptation or if it's not even going to be an adaptation at all. No idea. We'll find out later this year. All right, everybody, that's it for today's Giant Robot News, August 29th, 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all later this week.